it's kind of an energy. You love to put it, bro. <laughs> it is kind of an energy, right? Yeah. It emits certain kind of energy. The way the Hindu believe is that the deities, you go towards the deity. They have charged when they construct the deity. They have constructed with certain rituals and energy. What they believe is when certain people go towards the deity, right? They get certain kind of energy charged from them. That's all it is. But they, the deity itself, when you say they construct it, so this is idols made of stone, right? They idols made of stone. Okay. So how? So what kind of energy you get from stone? Basically, let's assume what kind of energy. See, it's, let's assume a cell phone tower. Okay. It's a technical equipment yeah. put in in a certain way to emit certain kind of energy. That's yeah. it, right? That's what it is. gives the power. Is a but stone gives right? the power to the stone. You the, the no, no, but a cell phone tower has been constructed to emit that energy. Emit that but energy. But the stone is not built for that purpose. No, no, you are not using same. You, you, you see, you, you, you have to use that day. Cell phone tower is today. Yeah. I'm using an analogy. You cannot take it literally. Fair enough. Okay. But, but what I'm trying to understand is that, to me, a stone is a is an object with a, which is not sentient. So it doesn't harm or benefit anyone. It is just a stone at the end of the day. But, but the point what I'm here making here is that yeah. fundamentally, the, the reason I told, they, I'm making a point on the deities, mm. I'm not making the point on a god. Hinduism fundamentally... So are you saying the deities are not gods? Deities are not gods. So why do they call them because devas? Because of the... They call them devas. No. Dev means god, right? Okay. So devas means plural of god. Basically, devas... See this, I'm not qualified enough to talk about it. Yeah, I think but so. I can tell one point very well. This way, so the camera can see. I, I, uh, I can make What's the name, by the way? I'm Raj. Raj, I'm Hashim. Nice meeting you. Okay. I can make one point. The there is no God as per the singular universal, the Creator God. They have in you know, a they, they they have Shiva, Vishnu, Brahma. They call yeah, it the Trimurti. Trimurti. Yeah. But it is conceptual. It is to explain a concept in that way, not to be in absolute literal terms. Okay? They don't tell that Brahma, they came and created the universe. To, uh, like so, so Brahma is a creator, creator, Vishnu is a sustainer, and Shiva is a destroyer. Now, these are yeah? concepts. These are the concepts. Also, they are not literally God. They, they are not literally God. Wow. Okay. These are concepts. Okay. That's why I'm telling you, you cannot take the Hindu religion, literally. gods, okay. in the Abrahamic religion. Yeah, yeah they are not same. They are not same. So, so we can't compare the Hindu. And, and here is the beauty yeah. of the. Here is the, and again, I'm an atheist. And are you? I am okay. an atheist. But you can be a Hindu. I can be a Hindu. Wow. I can be an atheist, and that my religion gives the freedom. You you know what? Interesting. Because I have the free. And in, in, by the way, if you go to Hindu, so so study, no no that's interesting. I want to know as an atheist, uh -huh. who do you think is Krishna? Which one? Krishna. Or Vishnu? Or Vishnu? According to you, who are these uh, devas or deities? These for a, for a, for an atheist, who are they? Okay. For an atheist, yes. I can see this in two ways. Or rather, an atheist Hindu, who are they? The, the, I can see them as two ways. Yeah. This is this is a story from history. We call what is called mythology is any history which we cannot prove it archaeologically, yeah. scientifically. It's a myth. Anything that cannot be proved yeah. scientifically. A myth cannot be proven. But, 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 yeah. but once it's proven, it becomes a fact. Yeah. Once it's proven, so until then it remains a myth. Until then it yeah. remains a myth. So these could be a story of a person. It could be a concept, whatever it is. Okay. But so it could be a real person. Which one? It could. There is a possibility that there was an actual. Um, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, no, real see, persons. See, these are these systems? What no, are they? No, no. See, here is another yeah. thing with Hinduism, which okay. people understand. The problem is that what Hinduism, because of by nature, it is very open. Lot of these things, ideas from the different region, right? All these were accommodated into the fabric. So you will have a lot of these stories in that. Sorry, brother. We sorry, sorry. Just a bit there. Okay, thank you. There is a lot of stories. 
fabric stitched together, so you will have this multiple story layer yeah. of unload story. And here is a, and, and the flaw with that, I will tell you the flaw with the understanding that. Sorry, flaw is, with what? The flaw with the, the flaw or challenge, not yeah. a flaw, challenge okay. with that is there is no single truth. The challenge with that is there is no single truth that absolutely it gives, like the other religion it gives. But that is the value of it because you know what? He doesn't claim the false claim that he knows the single truth. Sorry, who knows? The, the, the ones who tell me they know it. They know the God. So they're wrong. They, they don't know. Okay. They don't so know. They, yeah, they, they're probably you know, you, you probably are offending a lot of Hindus. And I wouldn't want to but do so that. If, I'm fine. I'm fine. I know you're fine, but they are not. No, By you care. offending the gods. Care. This is my idea. Okay. I live in a democracy. <laughs> right. This is my, what I believe in. If they are being offended, so be if it. Ever, if a Hindu wakes up in the morning uh -huh. and they pray to Krishna or Shiva or whatever tradition of Hinduism they follow, and then you come along, Mr. Hindu, as an atheist, that all that is rubbish. No, I didn't say that. You are saying that. You are putting words in my mouth. Okay, when I say, I when I say, say rubbish that. means they don't no, exist. No, no, no. no I don't they could I, be... No, no. They don't exist. These are... Uh, they don't exist according to me. Yeah, of course, according to you. Right? That's but why according, I said according, according to you. According to me, Allah doesn't exist too. I know, you're an atheist. So, no, I'm an atheist too. I know. So, I, according to me, Jesus But, but then exist. you're saying you're also Hindu. I mean, they exist. They existed. <laughs> Sorry, that's not true. Okay. I will take my words back. That's better. They probably existed. Okay. They probably... The books are right. What they wrote is also right. They are probably uh, leaders or great wise men to be respected of that time. Absolutely no question because somebody doesn't become what they are and so loud, beloved by their people without doing something good. So I'm that, glad you changed your tune. No, no, there. No, I, uh, that much I respect. <laughs> okay. But to give them the stature of telling they are the creator God, mm. I won't, I won't buy that. What about that is a cuckoo story? Okay, what about don't call it cuckoo story? Let's no, respect to me. Okay, let's according respect me. Look, I'm a Muslim and I know that the Hindus is a different religion, but I will still respect what they believe in, in, in the sense in the sense that I will not mock it. No, 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 like the way calling no, it no, cuckoo. I'm not mocking, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry. all right, sorry. like imagine you, you respect your mom and dad. Uh, if sorry. somebody says something bad to them, enough, you feel offended. Enough, enough, For them, it's more than parents, it's their God. Understood, okay, understood, that's enough, what the Quran teaches us understood, not to mock because then they'll no, no, mock you're right, you're right. In that okay. case, we are breaking the discourse, fine enough. Okay, so let's, let's bring the energies a bit down and let's talk rationally rather than with emotions. You say you're an atheist, yeah? Do you what about the concept of Brahman? You heard of that? This is about, this sits above the, the uh, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. So it's like the universal soul. What is your understanding or your, I don't know, what is your take on that? The only take I take in that, yeah. that is actually close uh, to the cosmic, whatever you can. And that, if you tell, is the... They call it the Paramatma or the universal soul. Uh, the, Whichever religion calls that, I am with that. Because no, no, that's, that that's, a, that's, that's a Hinduism a, belief. That is an unknown. Yeah. That is a supreme unknown. Yeah. Nobody you, can they want you to come here, so that is you're facing the camera. That is a supreme unknown. Yeah. None of us can understand it. None of us can grasp it. And which is what is the reality even today. Because we don't know what we, we don't know. right? We, we know what we know. There are a lot more we don't know. And that I am willing to accept. You're willing to accept the Brahman? No, no, the concept no. of Brahman? Which is the universal soul, which is formless, um, shapeless. Um, I think someone even told me that it's without an attribute. The, the but I find that attribute. You call it the yeah. universal unknown. Let's call it that. I am okay with that. Okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, good. The universal unknown. But it is it is an entity that, that exists, right? I don't know. Okay, then you cannot call it universal unknown, because to me, if something is universal, then it cannot be completely unknown. I know there are certain aspects of why. Why you say that? Yeah, because how can it be universal? It's it's it, it's like it's like oh. saying a squared circle. In a, in, in a, not it's a contradiction a, in in, in from terms. A, not from a people point of view. It is a universal unknown. Mm. See, like for example, what is outside our solar system? What is outside our galaxy? Right? We don't. Know. You mean outside the universe? Uh, yeah, or, or even our galaxy, for that matter. We know some of it. We don't know many of it. No, no. Right? We know we know from using powerful telescopes like right, the right, right. Hubble telescope. Right. Right, but, and uh, they can see whether quite there is life there or not, we don't know. Okay, right? that's a different thing. Yeah. Right, but but yeah. what I'm saying is there is a lot we don't know. Of course there is. In fact, there's a lot on this earth we don't know. We haven't explored all of the oceans. Okay? All of the all of the underground. Okay? So forget about the cosmos. 
we don't know about our own earth. So that is exactly where I come from. Because trying to put some firmness, which I don't have against anything, but trying to put this is what is absolute is. Yeah. When the fact is we don't know, is I have a problem with that. So I from what from what you have told me, I think you believe in something which is the naturalistic world. Okay? So something that is observable, something that is is basically science, isn't it? The natural science. So the naturalistic science believes something that is in empirical evidence. So observable uh, experiment that can be experimented so on. Yeah. I think we learn a lot more. We are curious and pay attention when we accept. Like for example, if I make an assumption of you as a brother, yeah. I am not going to be willing to learn you. I'm not willing to interact with you. I need to be open-minded completely. So I need to accept the fact I don't know about you. Yeah. I think we need to have that mindset in everything in the universe. We need, should not accept the absolute unless it is absolute enough for us to accept it. As yeah, but that's, that's what I'm asking you. What is your criteria for you to be certain something exists as a factual thing? Well, well we, we can we can obviously, you know, we all can see it, understand it. Exactly. Process. So that's what I told you, empirical evidence. Yes. That's what you're looking for. As an atheist, you believe in something yeah, which yeah. is observable, enough, which is enough. which can we can experiment fair, fair on, for example. Fair, fair, fair. And that is what naturalistic science also believes in. Okay? But you're forgetting one thing. For us, as, as I'm, by the way, I'm a Muslim, and I believe that also other religions, including Hinduism, we believe that the world and the universe is not just the physical existence. We also believe in the metaphysical. Okay? I'll give an example. You, you believe in consciousness? You know what, if I say I believe in that, I need to lie because I have tried to understand it, I have not understood okay. it. What is, your, what, is your understand, what is your definition of consciousness? I have read enough, buddy, I cannot answer that question. Because I know enough that, okay. see, I am a kind of person, if I don't understand something absolutely well, I am not willing to accept that I know it. Okay. So there is a philosopher with the name of Descartes, and he says, I think, therefore I am. You are right. Okay? So if you are able to think, and you can think about your environment, yes, you can observe your environment and interact with it, that means you are conscious of your environment. Fair enough. In, in a nutshell, that's yes, what it is. Correct. Okay? Do you experience that? Of course. Good. So you are conscious. Yes, of course. Okay? You are not like a rock which is non-sentient. I am conscious. I, I don't have a problem with being conscious. Because the conscious were, consciousness is used in a very broad by many... You see no, but I'm in a nutshell, everyone will agree with this definition. Okay, this okay? conscious... Okay. So, it is basically you being aware of your environment. environment. That's in simple terms, that's yep. what consciousness yep. is. Yep. So, even, an, even a scientist who believes only in experimentation and observation through em and by empirical evidence, even they will not deny their consciousness. Because first and foremost, in order to observe and to experiment, you have to be conscious. conscious you can't, you can't just say, "I'm not aware of any of these things," but then I'm going to uh, do experiments and observe things. So the first principle that they have to acknowledge is that they are conscious. Now, if I ask the same scientists or yourself, do you have any evidence, any empirical evidence, using your own principle? Do you have any empirical that you are conscious? Because right now you told me your subjective understanding of what consciousness is. You feel it, you experience it. But if you wanted to prove objectively to another individual that you are conscious with empirical evidence, then you will fail to do so. You have to believe by faith, even as an atheist, even as a scientist who doesn't believe in God. You have no option but to believe that you have consciousness, which in fact, it's metaphysical, that's why you can't observe it empirically. See, I, I will take you this point. <coughs> yeah, go on. We need to believe, because we cannot go by facts everything. Right? Absolutely. You are right? Yeah. You, so hit, you hit the nail belief, on the head. Belief is a fundamental yeah. for survival. Forget the yes, yes. Inter for survival yeah. we need. We need to think the water is good. We need to think my mother is my mother. Absolutely. Right? There are a lot of or your father, are, or, my or father, your doctor. Everybody, right? <laughs> belief is good, yeah. but I choose when I need to take, but I don't need to believe everything. I no, you don't believe, have to. Right? You so don't have to. I will believe that which that which doesn't have contradiction. 
okay it's easier to believe but that which does have contradiction then it's, it becomes difficult okay now the, you know the reason the reason uh, we were talking about metaphysical and physical earlier is to show you that as a person who believes in only seeing and observing things and in experimentation and all these things you i think you're not someone who says that is the only way you can believe because there's something called testimonies like the way your mom or your dad told you that they're your mom or dad without you having any other evidence just based on their statement that is called testimony because you trust them similarly when you go visit a doctor uh, so nhs here we have the national health service trust me no one in the right mind will go to a doctor and before they start treating them or give them any prescription they're saying please show me your certificate why because you trust the national health service that they will only employ qualified people obviously there are exceptions but that doesn't make the rule so what i'm saying is that we as human beings and you pointed out correctly we cannot survive just if every if you're going to ask for evidence for every single thing in your life then it becomes life becomes very difficult and and we hard. need to see that is true yeah. we believe in things which is essential for our survival and well being so i just take some water right and yeah. something is not so essential well when something is promotes our well being we believe in that but we don't need to extend that to everything right so when there is a need for me to question something right yeah. when something doesn't make sense right i why should i believe it i'll question it right yeah, absolutely so, that's the reason i said so, something which is so doesn't is, have internal contradictions like this, and, right if if, yeah. if if the if the if, if i believe for me yellow color is very good or white color is very good yeah. but he believes wearing black is good but if my belief comes anybody wearing black color is a bad person and i need to harm them then there is a problem for me to examine my view my belief on black color absolutely yeah, yeah. because it doesn't make sense it it's, doesn't it's make it's incoherent sense. yeah yes exactly yeah. okay let me so using that principle of making sense and not making sense okay there are many people who say if they don't have an answer they say i don't know but then that is also problematic you know why because there are certain things which you you cannot deny for example your existence the existence of this earth the existence of this universe you cannot deny okay you also cannot deny that these things have a cause that they came into existence from somewhere or something okay they didn't come into existence by themselves no did they create themselves so, when you're talking about the universe and the world everything yeah everything that you know as a as an atheist in your naturalistic world yes so everything that you see around you had a cause including the galaxies and the universe which you talked about see yeah a there is a lot of uh, you know see certain things work okay we we need to hang on to something right i think when we did not have the scientific system the observation system everything we need a, it's a, you see the society the culture the religion yeah. this kind of a sweater we wear when the cold weather is there right yeah. i think we need because it's a fabric to protect us it's yeah. for the well being of the human being but it was at that time in that context when we have a better view when we have a better system to look at things mm. we should be willing to change and we should be willing to move on oh no there's nothing wrong in that so as a muslim i have no problem accepting science which deals with the naturalistic world which explains to us how things happen but you see science has limits as well of course okay and it and accepts that it has limits that of is course, the beauty no, no. of it i i never said it doesn't accept that however when science stops at a certain point it cannot operate beyond that point okay so without time and space science cannot operate because it needs that for its calculations for its experimentations for its observations you need this without that you cannot so anyone trying to use science as a tool to find out about things which are metaphysical which are beyond the scope of science i think that is being see here uh, is not true to what science will, is capable of i will leave of. this with this one parting thought yeah go on see the physicist let's take the physicist yeah. or a mathematician right you take the loss of certain standard loss of mathematics or physics yeah you go to people the mathematician in any country 
in any religion, mm -hmm. in any culture, they won't dispute that because they have all agreed on that same and they know it's that. What are you talking about? Like, agreed on what? Like, for example, if you take like the, uh, if you take the, you know, Earth is uh, uh, round, right? Yeah. Uh, like, no, not so, to come from a commonsensical point of view. No, no, with observation. Yeah, with of, observation, of course. right? But that's what I'm telling you. But so, the, naturalistic you know, world. This is the world where I have a problem with. Yeah, Why no. it's not a universal science? The Sorry, what is not a universal science? We, 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 Observation? The religion is not as universal as a science. No, no, before we go to religion, I want to understand from your worldview. For example, if I were to ask you this question, yes? But do you, no, one point, let me finish that. Okay, go on. Do you agree the fact that the religious gurus of all the world, yeah. the, the fact that they all cannot agree who is one God, is fundamentally something wrong there? No, no, look, there are, for example... No, there no, no, you need to accept this. No, no, I, I don't need to because you, what you're talking about, you're now generalizing. Okay, not every, not every religion believes in multiple gods no, no, but or you, not every religion no, no, believes no, sir, in one god. I'm not saying that. I'm okay, not saying what are you saying? That? I am saying, let's take multiple religions in the world. Yeah. Right? There is more than three, right? Probably five. All these leaders cannot agree one god. That much you agree? Major, agree yeah, major religions. If they believed in the same God, it will be the same major, religion. Major, minor, whatever. Right? Yeah. They cannot agree no, you said on five. That's God. why I said major. Oh, right? They cannot yeah. agree on the same God. Yeah. Correct? That's why they are different religions. So, so. <laughs> What's the problem? There is the conundrum. Because. If what is, is the problem with that? The problem is the fact that either there is no God or there is no one God. No, no. I, I, think, I think you're jumping the gun here. You know the scientists? The scientists have several models for the Big Bang. Do you know? So, for, sorry, for the origin of the universe. They don't all agree. But then there are majority of people amongst the scientists who agree with the Big Bang model. Agree, agree, okay? Agree, agree. So agree. It, it happens in science as well. Yes, There's yes, disagreement. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's yes, not yes, just yes, religion. Yes, yes, yes. So let's be fair. No, you're right, every you're system, right. every yes. system out there, there's going to be there's going to be agreement and disagreement within that. So for example, within Christianity or within Islam or within Judaism. You will find. But you need to understand that. No, is no, a wait, wait. Let in me, science, there is theory and there is yeah, fact. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me finish the point. So, in in these three religions, which are the major Abrahamic faith, yes, there will be internal, uh, what is said, disagreements. So, among the Muslims, or among the Christians, or among the Jews, there will be different sects within that. Okay, the subsects, just like in Hinduism as well. Okay, so even those people who say they follow Vishnu, yes, there will be disagreements within the same uh, tradition of Hinduism as well. And the same thing goes with science, I'll tell you why. Because with the same observation, different scientists will conclude different things. Okay? That is when it becomes, for them, it is a hypothesis. So before, before it becomes a theory, it has to be an observation from their perspective, from their subjective understanding. Then they say, okay, now let's do a peer review. And then if they agree, it becomes a theory. Absolutely, but yeah. in science there is theory yeah. and there is a fact. Right? Right? You're right. Same right. thing in religion. Yeah. Which one? But not <laughs> all religions have a fact. Where is all okay, what is your definition of fact? Religion? Which one? What's your definition of fact? Which is absolutely agreed across the board. By okay, I'll give you one fact. Yeah. Every human being sins, which means they disobey. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's something whether you agree or disagree. Sins in the sense that they disobey either whatever they believe or perceive to be their God, they disobey them. Now this is a fact. No one can say they are sinless. Which one? Even you cannot, even as, as an atheist, you cannot say you do not commit anything which is wrong. Have you lied in your life? No, no, wrong is different, sin is different. It's just label, my friend, it's just label. Stealing is same whether you call it with a different name. Lying is different, uh, sorry, the same whether you call it a different name. Murder is the same thing whether you call it a different name. So every human being makes mistakes or sins or does crime, whatever you want to call it, whatever label you want to put. Now there are factual things which religion and scientists and people, even atheists and uh, people who believe in God, they will agree with. Like everyone believes rape is wrong, right? Yeah? So that is something, regardless of your faith or lack of faith, you will come to the same understanding that it's fact that rape is wrong. See what I mean? Okay. Going back to uh, the cause and effect, we, this is a scientific methodology as well, okay? That everything that begins to exist has a cause, okay? You and I began to exist at one point, okay? Our cause, our parents, yes? And their cause, their parents and so on, yes? Same thing with, the, with our galaxies and stars and so on. They had a cause as well. 
Yes. In fact, the entire universe, according to the scientists, they say it is something like 13.8 billion, billion years old, which means that there was a point in time when it began to exist. Yes, which they call the infinity. Sorry, the, uh, uh, the singularity. Okay. So the question to you, as a person who believes only in empirical evidence, yes? I don't know if so far if you agree with me that you believe in the metaphysical, but you certainly believe in the physical world. Now the question to you is, where did the universe come from? So one answer is, I don't know, which everyone gives, which is fair, you can give that answer, but I'm sure you must have thought about it. Yeah, see, the point is, the, here is the biggest fundamental problem with the religious people and the non-religious people. Yeah. The non-religious people, we are totally fine and actually we are very happy, we are very happy to not know answers, not assume things, uh, for, you know, that we don't know. Because we accepting the fact that we don't know, we accepting the But that's not a fact, that's your... No, no, we accepting that we don't know. That's your opinion. No curious, willing to learn, open-minded. Yeah, no problem. Yes, right? The religious people won't have an issue with anything you said. Right. Trust me, they won't. Because if they don't know, they'll say, I don't know. They're willing to learn. They are willing to understand. They're willing to even experiment. You know, some of the earliest Muslims, yes, they did a lot of uh, research and experiments, yes, and they discovered a lot of things. So if you go to this uh, website called 1001 in number 1001, inventions.com you'll see that over there so people like Khawarizmi and people like uh, Biruni and all that they had a lot of but they had faith in God as well they did a lot of research a lot of experiments a lot of discoveries same thing with uh, with Aryabhata in 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 in, in uh, amongst the Hindus and and amongst the Christians they had saying uh, saints for example uh, who, who actually discovered a lot of things in um, in biology and so on yes amongst botany See, I, I, I think, you know, I, I'm, by the way, I'm visiting this country. It's, it's amazing the fact that there is a platform like this having a discourse. Yeah, this is unique it, only it, in this country. It, it, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's called Speaker's and, Corner. You know, the, the fact is, the fact is we yeah. all come from different different culture, different uh, religion. Different, different walks of life. Value, yeah. But yeah. The, we can, civil in a civil way, have a discussion. Discussion. Absolutely. And yeah. you can... Uh, with a, with a politely yeah. and with respect to each other, disagree and still walk yeah, away. Of course. That's an of course, amazing yeah. thing. That's communication it. is key right. in order for us to understand each other. Like I was just telling my friend earlier that in India there are so many Hindus and so many Muslims. In fact, many people don't know this, but India has the third largest Muslim population after Indonesia and Pakistan. I don't know if you were no, aware of that. Actually, second largest. India is yeah, I think that is also debatable. Yes, so some people say it has overtaken Pakistan as well. Yes, and look, I wouldn't be surprised. It doesn't matter. It has, third, yeah. it has a huge population. Yes. But then these Muslims who live literally next door to many Hindus don't know about Hinduism. And same thing with the Hindus. Many of these Hindus who live literally next door to their Muslim neighbors don't know about the Muslims. So what happens when there's no communication, when there's no understanding, you have chaos. Yes, you have people oppressing each other. People, because of the misunderstanding and their unwillingness to sit down and to communicate in a civilized manner. Yes, unfortunately, there's a breakdown in society. Yes, and this is something as a civilized, cultured nation, you don't want. Yeah, you want to see what you don't know, you fear. Absolutely. The moment yeah. you talk yeah. and get to know, you yeah. doesn't need to be that, but at least get to know and say in the end yeah. they are a human being. True. They are a father, bro mother, brother, children. Human beings. They have the same values, yeah. right? They just have a different yeah. style, different belief system. You may, may not agree with that, doesn't matter but willing to work with that. And of course, you believe in something. If you have a, let's assume you invested very well. You think you have an idea, you are going to teach that to your neighbors and friends. And take that as, so when you are trying to do, I don't take it personally as you are trying to convert me or anything like that. Either from a belief, I take it, you are in the best interest of me. Hey, this is doing very well for me. So. I am willing to share that knowledge to you. Absolutely. That is the way I yeah. see it. Look, as a, as, as a Muslim, no one is saying that we want to convert all Hindus just because we talk to them. So sharing information gets us to know each other. Yes? 
if you if you are in sync with the understanding of a Muslim and you want to become a Muslim, well and good. If you don't want to, well and good as well. No one is going to impose. If you start imposing things, then that is something prohibited in Islam. We do not force someone, and if any Muslim does that, well, then they are not that, really following that the. That is where I think I have a problem yeah. because the text in the olden says, if they, somebody doesn't believe in Allah, mm. then they are an infidel, and you have to take. You, you are about okay to kill them. No, that that's, I have a problem. With. I, I don't think you have read that in the Quran. You read it somewhere else. So I say probably, but uh, <laughs> that has to be there. Yeah. You are telling it. You know what the Quran the, says in yeah. chapter five thirty two. It says if you take one life unjustly, yes, it a is as if Muslim life or not, a, a anyone, anyone, uh -huh. anyone. If you kill, if you kill a person unjustly without any justice, without without any reason of of being in a just manner, then you have taken the life of all of mankind. So and it, and hear me out, hear me. Out. And if you save the life of one person, and like I said, doesn't have to be a Muslim, and we're not a Muslim as well. Yes, it is as if you have again save the life of all of mankind okay. so killing without justification is wrong and even if look even if what there is, is justification okay even if there is a justification for example murder yes so in islam we believe in capital punishment okay an eye for an eye tooth for a tooth that kind of thing from the uh, same thing in the torah they believe the same thing so what i'm saying is that it doesn't mean that there is some vigilante where you actually uh, as a mob kill someone or lynch someone, as we have seen in the case of many Muslims being killed by Hindus in India in, in recent history, unfortunately. But before that, you know, Muslims came and assassinated millions. If they did that? They, they destroyed our temples and put a mask over it. Yeah, yeah. So you know all that story. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And 300 years they came, okay. raped the women, and that is all okay. Yeah, yeah. No, did I say it's okay? No, okay, tell okay, me what please is don't it? put words in my mouth. Tell me what is it? Okay, now you're getting agitated. Tell me Let's what calm is it? down. Uh -huh. Let's calm down. Okay. okay. If anyone did that, and call themselves Muslims, uh -huh. and they kill without justice, uh -huh. then they will be punished by Allah. So all the people, you look at the camera and tell, yeah. who came to the country, Mohals who came, yeah. destroyed the people, took our land, took our women, took our temple property, yeah. they are all bad against Allah. They did bad against Allah. Can you look at that camera and tell? I, I will tell, look at the camera and say, not only the Mughals, in fact, any Muslim leader anywhere in the world, if they if they commit atrocities and they oppress people, then that is not the teaching of Islam. Very good. Okay? I, I like that. I'm fair enough. Okay. I take that. Now, would you condemn the Hindus who kill Absolutely. the Muslims? Absolutely. Look at the camera and say it. Uh, any, uh, forget Hindu. You see, I didn't hesitate. No, I will tell you. Hindu, Muslim or Christian, anybody, there you go. like they invaded any other country. No, no, not country. Within their own country, they kill. Within their own country. And they lynch for, invaded. just because they doubted somebody has beef in the fridge, they lynch them. Well, Would you condemn that? Which one? I will condemn that. Good. I will we'll condemn, condemn that. that. Then but, we are on the same but, level. But, but it was that is one thing an individual, some cuckoo head doing it, yeah. and systemically an army moving and destroying in millions. Oh. You know that happened in the look, look, look. I've when, already condemned when, when it. When that happened, now you are going to keep repeating it. Won't make a difference. I've already condemned it. Have I not? Yes. I did not hesitate, and I did not make any excuses. But, but daddy, the, uh, you need to understand. Yeah. When that happens. When people come to know that, they are not everybody is going to me, like me say, yeah. my grandfather, I, it happened, somebody in your grandfather age did it, yeah. and my grandfather happened, I'm not going to take revenge for that, I won't do that, but you need to understand, not all people are in the same state of mind. I agree, that I is agree. What is and, also, and also you need to bear in mind that all those people who condemn the Mughals for their, for their wrongdoing, okay? If you're going to stereotype every one of them as being we bad, we be. exactly. So today India is known. If I ask anyone outside India, show me what do you think represents India? What would you say? They are the largest democracy in the world. No, no, not, not, I'm talking about the land itself, not, not the system. Mm -hmm. The land, give me some, some landmark that you can recognize India with. Okay, no, stop right there. I don't know what you're saying. Himalayas, whatever, I don't know. You okay, tell me. Taj Mahal? Man-made, obviously. Man-made. Okay. okay, so immediately if somebody says Taj Mahal... I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. You're not a... I, 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 why would a man 
kills, put so much money, destroy for his wife. That is selfish. That's actually put a. a he loves a, his wife. So, so kill so many people and take. Oh, what do you mean kill so many people? You know how many people, thousands of people were, were slaved uh, to work in that. To, uh, so oh, you people. actually believe that theory? Uh, well, what you say is a fact, and all I say. I is never said it's a fact or not no, fact. You fact think? By the way. Calm down, you're getting agitated again. First and foremost, look, there are, there are, yeah, there's a lot of bullshit which they consider as history, and some people call it fact. First, wait, wait. The, always oh. the, some people seems to be the other person. That is the problem I have. There is always two parties. Okay, <laughs> you cannot clap in India. They're saying do hatse tali basti hai. Okay, you cannot. That's Hindi. I thought you were from India. Okay, anyway, what it means is like you cannot clap with one hand. You need, you need two parties. Or in English, they say it takes two to tango. Okay, so you cannot just blame one one party. There are there are atrocities today. If you look at today, okay, who are the main oppressors? Which one? In India, who are the main oppressors? Main oppressors? Oppressors. Who oppress and kill people in India today? I don't know. There you go. <laughs> if you don't know about today, what are you going to know about history? You know, you know. I'm not even going to. That could be a lie. No, that no, come means on. A lie. No, come that on. Is a propaganda. You know, today. I can say. Wait, wait, wait. It's a wait a minute. Today we have something called cameras. Well, I cameras don't lie. I know. Well, people manufacture so many things. Cameras, they can manufacture. Oh, so, many so let me get this right. So today you're not willing to believe, but in history, thousands of years ago, you believe. Wow. Well, the books are there. History is there, buddy. Oh, books are there, but cameras are there as well. <laughs> so, the, 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 Come on, let's the, let's be fair. You're in denial. No, no, uh, I'm an Indian. I'm an Indian. I don't think you you realize that as a person, just because you're Indian doesn't mean you have to be biased. No, I'm not biased. I'm telling you. I think you are. We are based on what you said. Land, I'm not. I'm an atheist, but this country doesn't matter. <laughs> was invaded by Islam. They came. In fact, at the beginning, I told you not to make fun of the Hindu deities. I was the one as a Muslim. No, 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 no. You were the one making fun no, of them. I didn't so you're no different to those no, 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 people. I didn't make funny of fun. You call them cuckoo. You, no, no, no. It's on camera. No, 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 like no, I said, no. camera doesn't lie. Okay. You, you, you had to backtrack you, you, on that. You can take a piece of whatever I said and you can tell whatever you did want. Did you not call it cuckoo? Which one? I did. Okay. I did. So, so don't you say you didn't. You need to take the context. You need to take the context. The, there was no context for calling a god no, cuckoo no, 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 other than you mocking it. God, that is your god. I don't believe in no, god. No, that was a Hindu god you're mocking. Any god. I don't believe in god. I know. It doesn't mean you have to mock it. What is it? It doesn't mean you have to mock it. No, I didn't mock it. But Calling a god cuckoo is mocking. Which one? In my book. You see, you're in denial again. Okay. That is your see, nature, unfortunately. You're putting words in my mouth. No, it's on okay. camera. I can prove but it to the you. Fact is wait, wait, wait. Are you, are you calling me a liar? No, no. Are you calling me a liar? I'm not calling you a liar. Okay. Did you say the Hindu god is a cuckoo idea? I didn't say that. It's on camera. You, 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 whatever is in the camera. You are you going to deny what's on camera? I am denying that. Okay. I am denying that. Shall I show you the clip? You are putting the words in my mouth. Shall I show you the clip? Which one? Where you said it. I don't care what you show. I know what. So you are willing to? Now wait. For a person. Sorry, brother. Wait, wait. For. Thank you. That's that's fine. With all due respect. No, no problem. You only not shake anyone. Okay. So for a person who wanted evidence, now denies evidence. Okay. When you go and when we go. All I said is respect the other religion. Even if it's Hindus, doesn't matter. Their religion, their gods. There is consequences. You go to a neighbor and you take advantage of them and you do whatever you want to do. You cannot later on say I'm sorry without consequences. There will be consequences. What neighbor are you talking about? We didn't discuss any neighbors. Anyway, I think he got upset because I put him on the spot with regards to mocking the Hindu gods. And if anybody looks at the clip, and I will show it, yeah, because he also claimed I put things in his in his mouth. It was a good discussion until he started br bringing all these atrocities of the Mughals. Maybe that got him <laughs> that got him all worked up. But look, we don't deny. That there are rulers in the past, whether in India, whether it is Alexander the Great, whether it's the British colonialism, okay, or the Spanish, okay, they all, when they conquer lands, there's bound to be atrocities, there's bound to be killing. But if if the religion specifically instructs, yes, in Islam particularly, because I can speak uh, on behalf of the religion uh, from the Quran, that the Quran instructs you not to kill unjustly. Okay, not to oppress. Then, if a Muslim does that, then he is a sinner by default, based on that. If they, if they committed those crimes, but if there are rulers who rule justly and who rule by the Quran and by the Sunnah, then these rulers are people who have done justice and have represented their religion correctly. 
Okay? And this is what we say. We don't deny. If you see a wrong, you say it's wrong. Simple as that. Okay? Provided you have evidence for that. Because there are many things in history which people have just made up. So there are a lot of spin doctors who would spin things out of proportion. They exaggerate sometimes. Okay? And we have seen this time and time again. Because they, there's a saying that the victors write history. Okay? So maybe they have written something incorrectly because they are the only ones writing history of that time. And we have the same thing with regards to uh, things which we see in the history of India or of the Middle East or of Americas or anywhere else in the world, you know. So anyway, the point I wanted to make to this gentleman who was actually, who considered himself to be a Hindu atheist and they have this belief that you can be a Hindu and yet not believe in God. This is one of the... Uh, one of the ways they think it's okay and is acceptable, okay? But then when we are, I wanted to ask him with regards to his concept and his idea of empirical evidence, that unless you believe something, you cannot, uh, sorry, unless you see something, you cannot believe it. And I wanted to t understand what is his belief about the universe. I think we never got a chance, maybe next time, inshallah, when he comes down, okay? So anyway, Jazakallah uh, khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Don't forget to subscribe to Dawah Wise. Okay? And inshallah, uh, yes, uh, keep us in your du'as. Thank you very much.